Anna Lynn McCord revealed how her life has changed after she shared her dissociative identity disorder DID, diagnosis last year. The 90,210 alum, 35, opened up about how grateful she is that her sharing her story has helped so many of her fans who are struggling with similar conditions as she spoke to people while at the Carousel of Hope Ball in Beverly Hills this weekend. There is light at the end of the tunnel because I found it, and I was the most naysayer, most cynical, most sarcastic, most uninterested in the path that I'm now on. And that to me is everything. Gratitude is the only word to sum it up. The actress spoke about being a big mental health advocate and discussed her journey and how it has impacted others. She shared that she never believed kids like her could one day end up having the life she has now. I'm talking about the life I've had in the last 24 months where I wake up even in a difficult time in our world, grateful that I'm alive, not wanting to end my life, she said. The beauty also added that the biggest change she has experienced is being able to be free of it, sharing it with the world and not having shame and saying, look, this is me. And I'm just one of many, she added. McCord also had a message of hope to those affected who are undiagnosed or do not have support, I want them to see my face and know Terry's someone in your corner energetically. If I don't know you personally, I am cheering you on, and there is a pathway home and you can find it, she added. Dissociative Identity Disorder DID, was previously known as Multiple Personality Disorder, and is classified by the presence of two or more distinct personality states in those who have it. Last year the star discussed the five distinct alter egos she developed from her dissociative identity disorder in order to cope with sexual abuse as a child. It was about disembodiment, she explained to people, adding, it's a disconnection from mind to body. At age 16, Emma Lynn's first alter little Anna emerged while she was arguing with her boyfriend. McCord described her 13-year-old alter ego, also called Anna, as dark, cynical and jaded. The Farewell State star said autopilot Anna had the perfect tailored response at all times. Anna Lynn also detailed a loving and nurturing Earth Mother as well as Domino, a very salacious young lady, a toughie. It all started when McCord was sexually abused between ages 5 and 11 by someone she knew while living in an Atlanta trailer park with her mother Shari and pastor father David. I've experienced hell, the homeschooled millennial recalled. People I trusted told me to do bad things. I just shut down, that was the trigger point. At 18, Anna Lynn was raped by a male friend and her body froze just like it did when she was a little, I just cut out awareness of what was happening. McCord would cut herself and have suicidal thoughts until she finally sought treatment for depression and post-traumatic stress disorder in 2017. Mental health issues can be activated by trauma, but they can be healed, the Together One Heart president said. Before it was like a tornado, and now it's like a beautiful breeze. It's more a mood than something that takes over me. It was not until she took part in the 2012 independent movie Excision that she began to become aware of the symptoms that she now recognizes as signs of DID. All of my roles were splits, but I didn't even realize I was doing it at all until I did, Excision, she shared. In the film, which she filmed while on hiatus from hit Fox series 90210, McCord played the role of Pauline, a disturbed, strange girl, and she says that she struggled to let go of that character and return to her bubbly Beverly Hills role. 
Emmalin was diagnosed with DID, formerly known as Multiple Personality Disorder, in early 2019, but she didn't announce the news until April 21st during a vlog hosted by Drive. Daniel Amen.MC Cord, who meditates and takes ice baths to calm her mind, is no longer on medication and her alters have largely disappeared.